Today here in the Llama Lab, I'm going to put the NVIDIA RTX voice background noise filter to the ultimate test. I'm putting it up against the world's loudest direct drive trainer, the Le Mans Revolution. One of the biggest problems you'll face if live streaming rides or runs is background noise. Trainers, treadmills, fans, echoes, you name it. Everything except your voice will come through in audio and nobody wants to hear that. Same goes for Skype calls or Zoom calls or any video conferencing. Nobody wants to hear what's happening in the background. They want to hear you. I've been using this filter for a few weeks now. It has been absolutely brilliant, but I haven't put it to the ultimate test. So that's what today's all about. Now, a little bit of background on this. What you'll need, an NVIDIA RTX GPU or graphics card. Some people say it does work with the older versions with a hack. I'll put links below to that. So if you have an NVIDIA card, this is definitely worth installing. Windows 10, any microphone will work. I'm using a Samsung Go mic here. It's a USB condenser mic, but this will work with any microphone. And you'll need some background noise. So an indoor trainer, fans, kids, jackhammer outdoors, anything, you name it. You need background noise to filter out. Now the configuration of the RTX voice is very, very simple. Once installed, you select the microphone you want filtered, and then RTX voice will create another input device that you select in any of your programs. So I'm using OBS right now, and I've just selected the RTX voice input, which is linked to this mic here. Job done. That's all you need to do. So that's the theory behind it all. Now, let's put this into practice. What I'm going to do is ramp the Le Mans Revolution up to 400 watts. Given it's a windbreak, the faster you go, or the more watts that you put into it, the louder it becomes. I'll peg it at 400 watts with the filter off, and then we'll do the exact same test with the filter on, and we'll compare the two. I'm hoping it's going to be an absolute world of difference. Ticking along here at about 60 watts, it's louder than any direct drive trainer right now on the market. It does have a bit of a hum to it. It's going to be absolutely horrendous at 400. Okay, the filter is now off. Probably hear that background noise. Now I'm going to have to talk all the way through this, which shouldn't be a problem for me. I can talk the house down on this stuff all day long. We'll ramp up to 400 watts. Okay, without the filter on. You can probably hear it being a bit noisier now. 200. Waking the neighbours up at about 230. 250. 300. 350, okay, now up around 400, I can hardly hear myself talk at the moment. Impossible to hold a conversation. We'll peg it there for a few seconds. Okay, before the neighbors start knocking, we'll bring that back down. Nobody wants to hear that kind of sound, especially on a live stream. So with the power of RTX voice, I'm going to switch that on right now. Okay, the filter's now in play. I'll catch my breath, <laughs> which you can probably hear now. And we'll do the same ramp again. And we'll see how it goes talking all the way through this again. Okay, ramping to 200. Noisy now. Okay. Neighbors start knocking around 250. We'll keep going up, we'll keep going up. 300, 311. Okay, 350, come on. There we go. And let's push to 400. See if I can talk, I'll hold my breath. Nope. More watts, Shane, more watts. There we go, 400. We'll take it here for 10 seconds. You go with the filter on. Looking at the uh, little sound graph on here, looks like a lot of difference. We'll see when I finally get to watch this video myself. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. Two things to remember with this is that the harder the filter has to work, the more underwater you'll sound. It has to do a lot of processing in the background to pick out your voice from all the background noise. However, it's still a lot clearer than without the filter at all. If you have music in your stream over top of your voice, if you have background noise such as Zwift, it's not gonna sound so wishy-washy, but do be aware, the harder it works, the worse it's going to sound. Next up, it does consume some system resources. So it will take a few CPU cycles or GPU cycles away from your system, but in the whole grand scheme of things, it's much better to have that filter on 
than not have it on at all. On my RTX 2060, unnoticeable with it turned on. Whew, okay, there we go, good interval session for today. Now if you don't have an NVIDIA card or you're using a Mac and don't have access to this, there is an alternative if you're using OBS. Maybe other systems have this as well, other plat software platforms, sorry, if you're using, but OBS does have a noise suppression built in. So what I'll do now is turn off the microphone filter. Okay, so we're now unfiltered again. Just pedaling pretty slow here. I'm going to enable the noise suppression filter on the mic within OBS, just to show you the difference, or hear you the difference. So right click on the microphone, filters, add filter, noise suppression. I'm gonna put that at around negative 20 dB. Done. And that's OBS's built-in mic suppression or built-in uh, audio filter. And what we'll do, same ramp again, back into about the same gear. I'll ramp that up. Now this will sound like I'm underwater because this is a, a software implementation, I believe, and it's not as good as RCX voice, but I'll ramp up to the 400 again. Here we go, you probably hear my voice. Police are called, neighbors are called. Everybody's woken up in the neighborhood. Okay, now we hit 400. Okay, we'll peg 400. Oh, back it off. I'm warmed up now. And there we are. 400 for about 10 seconds. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's using inbuilt noise suppression with OBS. Definitely not as good as I, what I found than using that native microphone filter. So, cool, I'll catch my breath. We'll turn that filter off. Okay, back to standard noise. Then we'll go and switch the noise filter on. So just riding along, one fan going, one Le Mans going at only 123 watts. We'll go to 150. There we go. Oh, I am warmed up 200. <laughs> okay, 150. And that's not a pleasant experience. Not for recording, not for live streaming. Definitely not here in person. But if we switch that microphone filter back on, that is an absolute world of difference. And I can hardly see the bar even moving. So there we go. Today's Llama lab test RTX voice versus the world's loudest direct drive trainer. It's not a smart trainer, it's a dumb trainer. Still one of the best to ride. Uh, the bonus around there being the OBS noise suppression filter. Doing an okay job, still not the best. And for my last trick today, clapping. This removes clapping. So ready? I'm clapping right now. And uh, it's removing that. Oh, yes just to prove I was clapping. All right, filter back on because that's how we roll now. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. As always, hit subscribe to support this channel. It's much appreciated. Have a great weekend. And remember, don't stream your trainer noise. There's no need to anymore. All right, right on. That's much better.